What is up everybody? Look what arrived today. It is my new Alienware monitor. This is not a sponsored video whatsoever, so I can literally give my honest review about this bad boy. Nobody sent me this monitor. Nobody's paid me to say anything about this monitor at all. I just wanted it, okay? I've seen videos of it. I just wanted to test it out. One thing I have always wondered for the last like couple of years or so is, is 240Hz really that much better? than 144 hertz. My current monitor is a 144 hertz. As soon as I switched from 60 hertz to 144 hertz, it was just the world of difference. Literally, it was just such a huge difference. It felt like double FPS. I really want to see if 240 is actually better than 144. Obviously, it is on paper, but I want to see whether it's a huge noticeable difference or not. Three more things that actually came today as well. Yeah. Our two gaming chairs, right here, Noble Chairs and Nitro Chair, and also a gaming PC. You're wondering, Ed, you probably have enough gaming PCs. Why have you got another gaming PC? AWD IT contacted me and they were like, we're doing a PC giveaway for Christmas. We're gonna give away like a whole setup and we need someone to help announce it. And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. And they said, well, we're gonna send you a chair if you're gonna do it. So this is my chair, which I will be building later in the video. It is like a crazy expensive chair. It's from Noble Chairs, it's like Nappa leather and it is, what, over a thousand dollars worth of chair right here? So I had a wait to see how comfortable this bad boy is. And one of you lucky guys will be winning a Nitro Concepts S300, which is a gaming chair, and also an entire gaming PC, which is right in this box. But we're gonna save that for the latter end of the video. So watch until the end of the video. If you wanna be entered in the giveaway, you can win all of this stuff completely free. You can't win this, because this is mine, I'm keeping it. But let's unbox my new monitor. So it wouldn't be proper sparkles opening without opening a the Karambit Fade. One of the reasons I actually need a new monitor is because firstly I've been letting my cats play with my own monitor far too much. Cue the clip. Here. I was unboxing everything with this, I don't know why I do that, and I actually managed to stab my screen and it's got like a big hole in it. If you want to come see that, literally right here, it's got like a dead pixel, which is actually a stab mark in the monitor right there. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. So props to BenQ, to be honest, for actually being stab proof. I'm not going to be doing that same stab test on the Alienware monitor, surprisingly. One thing about Alienware is I've always thought that whenever you buy something from Alienware, you pay a little bit for just like a brand name and you don't necessarily get the best bang for buck. So I'm going to be really interested to open this up, test it and see whether it's worth the 500 or so euros that I actually paid for it. Now comes the difficult part. <sighs> Get the karamba in there. I think I've broken it already. Yeah, there's actually instructions on how you open it. And I'm doing it completely wrong. <laughs> you pop these out. Oh, and then <laughs> just comes off like that. That is nice and simple. Actually, good packaging. 10 out of 10 for the packaging. Okay, the screen does not come mounted on the stand. Right, let's have a look at it. It is 25 inches. I believe, which is bigger by one inch than my current monitor. Size comparison, right here. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. And we have a stand as well. One thing I have always liked about Alienware products is the style. Like the logo, obviously it's pretty cool. It's got like an alien head. And just the, the general styling is far cooler. If you look at this stand compared to the BenQ stand, I'm afraid Alienware are winning in that department. Now to clip it on without breaking it. Okay. Oh, actually that went in really nice and easy. <laughs> That's what she said. I know. I know you're laughing. <laughs> so it looks pretty cool. I think it's time to plug it in, do some tests, and see whether 240 is really worth the money compared to 144 or not. So I began my testing with Overwatch, a game I regularly play. I am recording my screen here with a camera that can only go up to 180 FPS. So I don't know if this is necessarily a 100% valid test because it wouldn't be able to see the 240 Hertz properly. But as you can see, there are still very noticeable differences between the 60 Hertz and the 144 Hertz. Here's a test on CS I did with all three footages side by side. 
But if we look at this 60 hertz footage and then the 144 hertz footage, this wall really glitches out on the 60 hertz one. Here's someone else's footage recorded at a correct frame rate. When it's massively slowed down, you can really see the difference. In terms of the actual jump from 144 hertz to 240 hertz, the difference is nowhere near as big as 60 to 144. 60 to 144 is literally like night and day. It is just such a big improvement. Whereas 144 to 240 is so much more subtle. I think I can notice the tiny, tiny difference sometimes over the last couple of days I've been playing with this monitor. But I think to take real full advantage of it, you'd have to be like a professional with just insane reaction speeds, which I don't really have. So actually, this might have been a bit of a waste for me. But hey, at least I can't blame my hardware anymore. Let's go unbox some more stuff. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video, AWDIT are giving away a whole gaming setup for Christmas, which is epic. And this is the PC they're going to be giving away. So I get to open it. I don't get to keep it, but I get to check it out and see what it's like. I hope you guys don't like unboxing videos because this is literally one hell of an unboxing video. There's so many things to unbox. Well, there's about a million and one boxes in here. Like I said, they're not just giving away a PC, they're literally giving away a whole setup. But this is the graphics card in the computer, it's a 1060. Pretty decent, it's going to be able to run everything you want it to run. They've also got the Cooler Master Master Set MS120. It's a master set, so it's an entire set. It's got a mouse in it as well. Cooler Master, make it yours, accessory RGB hard gaming mouse mat. I'm actually getting kind of jealous the more I unbox of this. You thought it was just a PC? No. It's not just a PC, they're throwing in a monitor in there as well, literally. It's the entire gaming setup, it's everything you need. I don't know if AWDID actually want me to open this stuff or not, considering they're gonna send it all out to you guys, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, okay? I don't care, yeah, I'm a rebel. I know you guys actually wanted to see what it was like anyway, so. There we go, that's a lot of this. this is the PC, it looks pretty sweet. I think we should probably plug it in to see all the lights. Ooh, that looks super sick, actually. This is a nice little gaming PC. <laughs> you can't really hear it. It's super, super quiet, which is what you want from a gaming PC. So unfortunately, only one person is actually going to be able to win this PC. There is, however, a discount code for the entire PC gaming bundle, which will bring it under a thousand pounds. It's like a special discount code, like only for my video. So I got the hookups. Don't worry about it, guys. I will leave the link in the description. If anyone wants to buy the entire setup, maybe for Christmas, it's pretty good. It's like the best bang for buck, like value wise, you can get entire gaming setup. And also you get this gaming chair right here, which I'm not going to unbox today because I already have one chair to build and that will be quite challenging enough for my small, small brain. So this is the chair that AWD ID sent me. It is from Noble Chairs. It is uh, Napa leather, which I'm told is very, very expensive. It's also very heavy. Okay. I think this is the most ungraceful way anyone has ever unboxed anything. Ever. Just gonna pull it out. Time for an epic time lapse. Here it is, my noble chair, all built and constructed. Looks pretty nice and it's pretty comfy too. Ah, even got the, the head pillow, sick. Well, <laughs> thanks everyone for watching. Different video to what I normally do, it was very hardware orientated and there was a lot of unboxings as well. So if you like stuff like this, make sure to let me know with that like button, comment, what you think about the monitor, what do you think about the chair, whether you want to win the gaming setup. So much goodness in one video. Take it easy guys, see you in the next one, peace.